Hey everyone, this is Kirk here again back at optionalpha.com and in this video I'm going to go over option expiration. So what is option expiration, right? You hear about it all the time and simply going back to our Arby's combo coupon example, it is the last day to close or exercise your options contract. That's what it means, right? Just like anything else, it expires, it runs out, the time is done, it's the last day, it's the option expiration day that you have the last chance to do something with your contract. Now, typically you're gonna enter positions with different ex, uh, different expiration months and varying dates, but it's always important to know when that expiration date is. Now, again, in this example with our Arby's roast beef combo, because I love Arby's, uh, you may not be able to see it in this particular video, but you can see right down here that the expiration date is 4-30-2009. So this is an old coupon, obviously, but you can see that this coupon expires on April 30th. So again, just like an options contract, a coupon is very similar. You have the choice to buy this Arby's roast beef combo for $3.99 before April 30th, right? And that's just like an expiration day. So if you had an option, you had the choice to buy stock in Apple, for example, before the April expiration date, whenever that is. So it's the same type of uh, mentality and thinking that goes into a coupon as with an option. So hopefully that makes it a little bit simpler for everything. Uh, another Apple stop stock example, what I did here is take a chart of Apple just recently and I cut it off and then I drew all these vertical green lines. So these green lines represent the expiration dates for Apple contracts in the future. So again, they can be varying dates for expiration. This green line right here where my cursor is, is the November expiration, the next one is December, and the next one is January. So really you wanna consider these the make it or break it points. If you buy an option contract for December expiration, which is this middle green line here, then that's the point at which either you're either the underlying stock is going to move far enough for you to make a profit or it's not. And you're gonna to have to make a decision whether you wanna get rid of that contract or whether you wanna exercise it, whatever the case may be. Now again, remember that you can actually get rid of your options contract by reversing the order, and we've gone over those in different video tutorials, but you can reverse the order for that options contract and get rid of it before expiration. You don't necessarily have to wait until expiration uh, to make a decision. So as always with our membership, we have the expiration calendar that's right inside of our membership area. It's always updated. In fact, we have it always out for the next three years. So in case you're trading some of those longer term options, you know exactly when those dates are. But this calendar is really helpful because it always gives the holiday periods, which are in orange, the options stop trading day, which is the Friday before expiration, and then the expiration day for options and also quarterly expiration, which isn't on this particular uh, cutoff of the graph, but is on the other ones. So some expiration day and expiration in general tips. Expiration day for equity and index options is the Saturday immediately following the third Friday of the expiration month. So again, if you go back here, you can see that the Saturday is the options expiration day and it's following the third Friday of every month. So in February, one, two, three, there's the third Friday. Expiration is that Saturday. <clears throat> For American style index option contracts, the last trading day is generally the third Friday of expiration month. Unless that day is an exchange holiday, in which case the last trading day will be the previous day or Thursday. So this is a really important one to watch out for. So for instance, if Christmas is on the third or Thanksgiving or something is on the third Friday or just happens to be you know, a holiday on the, that third Friday, then it's actually going to move to the previous day. So you just want to be aware of that as you're always trading. Know when expiration is so you don't get caught on your heels. <clears throat> Continuing on here with our expiration tips for European style index options. And again, we've covered the differences between those two in other video tutorials more in depth, but we'll touch on it here as well. But for European style index option contracts, the last trading day will be the business day, generally Thursday, preceding the day on which exercise settlement value is calculated. So again, I know that's a lot, but keep rereading it. So for an American style index option, uh, anytime they can exercise these anytime prior to expiration. Now again, 
the key word here is exercise. That means you're actually going to convert the option from an option to the physical underlying stock or ETF or whatever the case is. That's the key word. Most people get confused in saying that American style versus European, that you can't close out of your trade until expiration. That's not the case. You can always reverse your trade and sell it back to the market or buy it back from the market. The key here is between American and European is that you cannot exercise Europeans until a specific time uh, prior to expiration. With American style options, which is generally what we trade here, uh, these can be exercised at any time prior to expiration. So if your expiration is 30 days away, you can right now convert it to stock and buy that stock. Again, a European style index option may only be exercised during a specific period of time prior to expiration. Now, generally, this is the last Friday prior to expiration date, right? So that's the last Friday prior to that Saturday when they actually expire. So as always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you like this video, please use the links below to share it with any of your friends, family, or colleagues on your favorite social network.